guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna show you guys how to convert your Samsung Galaxy S22 smartphone into a powerful wireless computer. And we are gonna be accomplishing that using the wireless DeX functionality built into these phones. So here's the phone, and here's a TV that is connected to my Wi-Fi. It is a smart TV. That is the TV that most people have in their houses these days. And then what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna project a computer-like interface from the phone right to this TV. And I'll be able to control that interface with the phone as a trackpad. So this thing here is not just a phone, it is actually a powerful, portable computer. You can do this with any TV anywhere as long as that TV has wireless connectivity, if it's a smart TV. So anyway, let's dive in and guess that right away. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get it done. So the very first thing that you do wanna do is you wanna pull down your notifications panel, okay? You can either do it from here. If you swipe over, you'll see the wireless DeX feature. It's gonna say DeX. Now I like to go to the settings and do it because some people don't have it configured to show up right here. But if you see it right here, you just click on it. But the other way to do, which is a simple and easy way, go to the settings, scroll down a little bit, and then go into advanced features. And then you're gonna see Samsung DeX right here. Just click on it and it's gonna show up like this and click on on. Now, as soon as you click on on, you're gonna see a couple options. You can do DeX on PC wirelessly as well, what we're gonna be doing on the monitor today. So I'm gonna click this guy. When you click this guy, you're gonna tap on allow, okay? And now what the phone is doing is, it is searching any wireless TV in the house, or if I'm in the office, or even if I'm at a friend's house, it is looking for wireless TVs in the area. And as you can see, it just found my LG TV, which is this guy right here, okay? So here's what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap on the LG WebOS TV. It's gonna say, do you want to start the Samsung DeX on that TV? I'm gonna say yes, start. And look at what happens. Everything's gonna transform. Look at that, it says something is trying to connect to my TV and we are going to get this interface. It says, welcome to Samsung DeX. That's my phone projecting to the TV. The phone is gonna show something like this, okay? It's gonna give you some information about the Samsung DeX and at the bottom, you are gonna click start. And as soon as you do that, look at what happens. We're seeing the Samsung DeX coming up. Boom! We've got a computer right over here. And here, I have the phone. All this is happening wirelessly. Now, on the phone, I'm going to tap on OK. And at the bottom corner, what you are going to get is you're going to get a trackpad. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click on this guy here. Now, look at this. I have a trackpad, OK? And then as I put my finger here and move it around, you have a little mouse that you can move around as well. You can go over here and you can launch anything that you want. So I am using this guy as a trackpad to control this projected computer from my phone. Let's see some detail. So you can have your phone anywhere that you want. You can just grab it. You could be sitting on your armchair. You could be sitting on your desk and you can just use this as a trackpad. Now I'm gonna show you guys what you can do over there so you can understand the power of Samsung DeX. So right now I'm using the phone as a trackpad to control. And look at this, this thing is moving around. Now I'm gonna go over to the gallery. Okay, I'm gonna swipe over to the gallery. I'm gonna double click on my phone's screen. Again, to launch something, I just double click over here. Okay, so I double click on that. It launches my gallery. And now what I can do is I can swipe down with two fingers so if I press and hold, I mean, if I just touch with two fingers, I can go up and down. As you can see, you can see the gallery going up and down. That's the way to scroll. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. Let's just see uh, some of the photos I took of my daughter this uh, earlier today. So I'm gonna tap on this button here. I'm gonna bring the mouse over the photo that I want. I'm gonna just tap on the screen. Look at that. It brings up, I can, I can look at all the photos on my phone right on this high definition TV, show it to my friends, show it to my family members. It is fantastic. So that's just one thing. So let's X this out or I am going to launch it 
And look at what I can do. I can actually move this anywhere I want. If I press and hold on the screen of my phone, I can move this around like a desktop computer, okay? I can also minimize it. I'm gonna go to the minimize, boom. And you can see at the bottom, so it is docked at the bottom, just like a Windows or a Mac computer. Meanwhile, I can go over here using the phone as a trackpad to access my settings. Uh, I can open multiple windows. Look at that, I can open the Play Store. Uh, I can open the My Files application here, and I can move all these guys around, and I can even do things like multitasking. Look at that, I can maximize this. I can uh, make it smaller. I can take this, I can put it to one side. I can take this window here, okay, just as if I was on a desktop PC, and I can grab it and put it here. Remember, I'm using all this stuff is happening with my phone wirelessly, okay? So your phone is a computer on the go that you can use anywhere. Now, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, if I go to the bottom left, I can click on this button here, okay? Just like a Windows Start button, and I can access all my applications. All these applications are running. I can even launch my camera and use this TV screen as a viewfinder. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna launch my camera, all right? And it is going to launch the front-facing camera. I'm gonna go down a little bit. I'm gonna flip the camera. So look at that. That's my phone pointing to the TV, and I'm using it as a viewfinder. That is absolutely insane. I can take photos, and once I do take a photo, it is gonna show up in the gallery application. So I can even play a game. So I can go to Play Store, download them, and play a game. That's not a problem either and you can do this wirelessly. That is absolutely insane. You can also connect a controller if you want. If you have a PlayStation controller, Xbox controller, you can connect it to your phone wirelessly and then control the game that way. Now, what else you can do? Again, if I go to my uh, things over here, my apps, I click on it, okay? I can launch anything that I want. Here's a game I'm gonna launch. So that's the Asphalt 9 game. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, there we go. So I reduced the volume so we don't get a copyright strike. So with this window, I'm gonna see if I can maximize it. There we go. It says restart the app to maximize it. So I'm gonna click on restart. Look at this. I am now playing a game that's installed on my uh, phone on this TV wirelessly. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm playing a game off of my phone right onto the TV. Uh, in the highest possible quality and there's barely any lag. If you have a good connection, you're not gonna have lag. So if you wanna exit the game, you go up with the arrow and you just exit out, okay? But there's the game. So I'm gonna X this out, I'm not gonna pick tutorial. So you can play a game. Uh, if you want to do some work, you can launch your Office application. So let me go to my Samsung Office application here. You can search applications from here. So I'm gonna tap on FFISO. By the way, when you search something, the keyboard pops up on your phone, so you can use that no problem, okay? Very intuitive once you're connected to your TV. So I'm gonna tap on the office. Look at that, that is absolutely crazy. If I go down here, and if I click on plus, I can create a brand new Word document. Let's just say blank document and I can start working immediately. I got my keyboard popping up right here. Look at that, I can start writing. This is absolutely amazing, okay? Amazing little device. The iPhone cannot do this. So you're getting a lot more features uh, with the Samsung smartphone in this respect. Now also over here at the bottom, I can access my recent apps by tapping that button, as you can see. Uh, I can go over here, I can change the volume. That's on the bottom right. Let me show you. So that's the bottom uh, right. I can take a screenshot. I can access all my notifications right from here. Alrighty. And I can also go over here, look at my uh, quick toggles. As you can see, I can click here. I, will, I can look at my time, access my calendar. So that is great. And of course, just like any other computer, you have a whole bunch of settings you can use. So if I go over there, tap on the settings, look at this, we have all these settings. Again, I can scroll up and down with two fingers. I can go to display, make some modifications, all right? 
Let me X this out. Now, if I double tap with both of my fingers on the cell phone's screen, on the cell phone screen, it brings up the uh, menu here. Okay, that's the right click menu. Go to wallpaper. I can change my wallpaper. I can go to my wallpapers and go for these different options. Okay, let's just tap on home screen. Set on home screen. This is fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. When you're done with your Samsung DeX, you just go down. Okay, you click on the apps icon and you tap on exit DeX. The TV goes back to its own business and your phone comes back to its own interface. You can use it as your phone. Fantastic. So absolutely powerful feature that basically no other phone can replicate other than I think uh, Huawei phones are capable of something like this as well. The problem is they don't run Android anymore, so it looks like Samsung is the only one. If you know any other phone that can do this, drop a comment down below and let me know. But go ahead and play with this. If you do have a wireless TV in your house or a wireless monitor, you can do this. Just make sure your TV is connected to your local Wi-Fi network and your phone is connected to the same local Wi-Fi network.